This is part 11 of my Python uh, game engine programming tutorial series. And in the last lesson, we were keeping track of the Z location of this purple cube after it went down, got to a certain Z lo uh, location in Y, and then we place it further up in y Z each time. So now th this time, we're going to do something a little bit different. And this is going to give you a lot more power in your program for doing things. And it's quite simple to do. So let me see. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to add a new say UV sphere to the scene here. See, where is it? I'll bring it back up here somewhere in this vicinity. Maybe we'll target this turquoise sphere here. Scale down a little bit. Okay, got to give it a color. Okay, and then uh, we'll add another light to the scene so we can see it a little bit better. All right, there it is. So now in this case, let's give it a name and we'll call it, uh, let's see, we'll call it projectile. And then once we have it in here, then what I want to do, I want to basically launch this towards this object over here first. And But we're going to launch it a little bit differently than before. Instead of just picking up the object like we've done in here, whereas I just scanned, in here we scanned for certain objects. Here we, you know, you get the cylinder or you get the ecosphere into their own name like this from here. In this case, we already ha we've already given it a name, and I'm going to put this object on a s second layer, right? And I've, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to move it. Maybe I'll just slide it to the side just so it's kind of out of the way. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to move it over to layer 2, M2. And just so I can see it for the time being, I'm also going to press Shift and click layer 2 right here as well. All right, so now I have layer 2. This is on layer 2 instead of 1. So then back here where my cursor is actually located, I'm going to actually add an empty to the scene. And let's see if it should be right there. Yep, there it is, right there. Let me move it. Let me move it back over here where that one was. Oh no, what happened? I'm going to control Z that. It looks like it added it to the location of, sometimes you'll add it to the location of the other one. I didn't want to do that. I want to add it by itself as a that happens if you're in edit mode but all right so there's my empty and what's going to happen is basically I'm going to use this sphere and I'm going to add it to the scene as I scan for the code so let's go into the code and I have some spare code located over here so let's see we're going to make a new routine and instead of check the mouse let's see we'll call this uh, launch launch projectile. That would be the name of our routine. And then sometimes I'll just come down here and I'll just already say end of the launch projectile routine. Like that. Keep them nice and clean and separated. All right. And then within here I want to check for mouse mouse event. Let me see. We've already using up and down I don't know, let's just get a new keyboard event. I'll just copy that. See, I can't even remember this code all the time. It's like if I had to just think right off the top of my head, oh, what is the code for scanning the keyboard? I don't remember each and every, but I know I just go pick it up because I've already used it before. And then I just go, you know, put it in there. So maybe we'll use the um, A key. All right. And the A key is just A key, just like that. All right, so I'm going to scan for the A key. And then when it's in here, here I have a command from my spare code. Oh, let me see. No, where is it? I have to go get it in spare code. Here is. I have a. Where's my add object? Here we go. Here's an add object routine. This is I use my tank in my laser game, just like this. I right, to go back to the cube object. I'm gonna put that in here. Get rid of that. I'll make sure I'm exactly at my location by hitting that there. Oops, guess that didn't do it, did it? 
Alright, sometimes I just line it up like this and then press tab. So now I'm there. So now what it's doing, it says, if if the A key is pressed, then and we need to put it inside the routine, where the routine is going to be, like that. I don't know how I did that. Okay, it's early in the morning. Alright, if the A key is pressed, then add the object called projectile to an empty location. All right. And what this has to be is this object that we call projectile has to be on a non-visible layer. And then empty projectile, we're going to name our empty that. And then this is another value. This is for the number of frames that you want it to last. So here's the empty. So we're going to give it a name also. And it's going to be called empty projectile. okay like that so and then this layer can be turned off so, oops except this layer hang on the empty wants to be on layer one okay and then this I can turn well I can just turn that layer off but the empty's right here so basically when I get to that line of code in the A keys press it's going to just take the projectile and it adds it to that location okay so and this has an advantage you're going to see in a minute it has one advantage and one disadvantage is when you add a projectile every time I press the A key it's going to add the projectile again and it'll add the projectile again and it's, so it's going to start taking up memory and you know you'll see but that's why we could start adding a lot of objects and activity to the scene so that has the advantage of doing that but the disadvantage is that if you try and render with a bunch of objects that are added to the scene like that they're not all going to render only the one instance of it will render so let's see well let's run it let's see if it actually runs let's press what was it? a let's see what happened uh oh must be the morning error program what I do let's go look at the um, <laughs> my system console okay nosotros it says I don't see it. I don't see any errors. Even if it, unless it was further up here. It's not like the ideal debugging environment. So but what we sometimes what you can try is you can come into here and run the game and you just I'll press A and immediately press escape. Just like that. That way so I think sometimes it'll run an error and it'll be it'll get out of hand already because of all this other printing and you don't see it but I don't see it in there so it says it's acting like it's adding it so maybe I didn't get the name right or something like that alright I called that empty projectile and let's go verify this this one's called projectile yeah well we know what the problem is already I know what the problem is <laughs> yeah the problem is it's early in the morning is the problem is <laughs> we didn't call the routine. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay. All right. So now let's pre press P and then I press A. And there it is. I've added the, the sphere to the scene. All right. Just go look. All right. And then look at that. And then watch after a certain amount of time. We see the number of frames I was talking about. So there's 30 frames a second that is running, you know, a little more than six seconds let's count that generally 1,000 2,000 3,000 4,000 5,000 you know approximately you get the idea all right if you want it to last forever just put a zero in there in that code all right so let's go back in here and then let's see how this really is to your advantage as far as the game is concerned all right so then once it's in here let's mm -hmm. let's apply a force so since we've already given it a name as it's coming in, notice this I've said projectile is seen at object. Well, in this case, the name we've given it is called projectile. This is exactly the type of code that I write. I mean, my tank and 
space space saucer and my integral calculus videos if you go take a look at those in a playlist where i'm blasting things all over the place yeah this exact code this is it all right so negative we'll make this not quite as fast so negative 200 so now i'm adding it to the scene and i'm blasting it down in the negative z direction so now let's see what that looks like i better save that code simple just simple code not much to it but this is a lot of power right i press p and i'll press a now let's see what happens Oh, I said apply the force. Oh, wait a second. Did I apply the force? Yeah, okay. Let's try the MP. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? That's not going to work until we do one thing. I need to go get the projectile just for a second. There it is. Go over to the physics button. Make sure he set his rigid body. All right, now let's go back into here, save that. And now let's run it, P, now A, and there it goes, see? Except it's not going very far, very fast. But now you do, so I'm just, now I'm just holding the keyboard down, like that, right? Now notice this is a very common feature in physics engines, though when you, I put these in here really fast like that, if I just put in one like that, super quick press, nothing happens. But if I put in multiple objects at the same time, they just all go flying. Because the way the physics engines work is they, they don't like, you know, the same object to be situated at the location at the same time. All right. Now in the apparently in the newer versions, when bullet physics gets integrated into the into Blender Render, apparently they have some fixes for that to take advantage of that if you want. Well, I'm not sure exactly, but We'll find out when that comes along. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. Let me see. Let's go back into the code and make sure my... Let me see if I can launch it a little bit faster. And then it won't stay there maybe quite as often. Let me see. P. Yeah, well, okay. Let me just change my view. Yeah. Well, that kind of gives you an idea. But then, of course, you watch out because, it's, you know, that's why I have that set to 200 frames because if you don't, all these are going to just stay in the scene and then, you know, it'll start hogging up your system pretty fast if I just kept blasting them in there. Right. Okay, hope that gives you some ideas, and I'll see you in the next lesson.